If you use Outlook.com or Outlook Web Access, you probably know that there is an out of office option in there. It's called automatic replies. But did you know that there's multiple ways that you could use that other than just an out of office message? I'll show you how to use the out of office in Outlook.com. And also we'll talk about different ways to use it today on Tuesday Tech Training. Hello and welcome to today's Tuesday Tech Training. My name is Jennifer Stewart. I'm the owner of Gateway Productivity and I'm a tech and productivity trainer. Today I'll show you how to use the out of office or automatic replies in Outlook.com or you may be using Outlook Web Access instead of the Outlook program on your computer. First, I'll show you the mechanics of how to use the tool, and then I'll talk to you about some different ways you could use it, such as not only when you're out of the office, but when you're in a meeting, and also when you want an automatic reply to go to everyone, potentially about the time that you check email each day. We'll talk a little bit more about that at the end. From your inbox view in Outlook.com or in the Outlook web access area, go up here to the gear icon and click on that. And the first thing you'll see is actually how to view your inbox a little bit differently. You can have a different theme in the background and there's all different kinds of ways you can look at it. But what we're looking for is the view all Outlook settings right here. Once you click on that, you'll have multiple options here and we are looking for automatic replies. That is what Outlook calls their out of office, automatic replies. And I'll move my picture so that we can see this a little bit better. So the first thing you would do with your automatic replies is turn it on. And you'll probably see nothing when it's turned off. Once we turn it on, if you've used it in the past, you'll see the previous thing that you've written. And if you don't have anything, this will be a good example of what you could put in there. So the first thing we'll talk about is this portion here, send replies only during a time period. This is optional. You can turn your automatic replies on and just leave it on. And that will be a good option for one of the things we'll talk about later but most people will use it when they're out of the office or in a meeting. And so we will check this box. You can set your start time and then you can set your end time. And it automatically assumes that you want it to be one day, but you can change it to whatever you'd like. You can either type in here, I can backspace and type what I want. And it's pretty smart. It can pick up just about anything that you write or you can use your calendar if that's a little bit easier for you. This web version of Outlook has a couple different options that aren't available in the program on your computer, such as block my calendar for this period. So you can make yourself unavailable during this time. You can automatically decline new invitations during this period. And then you can decline and cancel my meetings during this period if you already have something on your calendar and you have an emergency that came up and you need the system to automatically decline some things for you. The next section is the body of the email that would go out. And what can be confusing is there's no place to put a subject line. The reason for this is that when an email goes out, it will automatically say automatic reply. So it will make it clear what this is coming from your email account. So here's where we can put the body of the email. I usually say something like this. Thank you for your email. I will be out of the office until, and you can change the date for that. So we'll go ahead and do that. So I am gone until July 17th. And be sure when you're setting this end time that you really wanna think about the end time is typically the last day that you're gone. The first day that you're back, you don't want this running anymore. So think about that before you set it and also before you set this part right here. And the next part that I typically say is I will not be checking email while I'm away. If this is urgent, please call me at number and leave a detailed message. The key here is making sure that you convey to the person receiving the email what to expect. You're setting expectations for people. That's really what this is. So whether that is setting the expectation that they need to reach out to someone else to get help, or if there's a way that they can reach you while you're gone, or if nobody can be reached and they'll just have to wait until you get back, you want to convey that information as clearly and concisely as possible. And lastly, I say, 
Otherwise, if, if this isn't urgent, then otherwise I look forward to responding to you when I return. And that sets their expectation of when they will hear back from you if they don't need to get an answer right away. Then you have the option to put your contact information as I have here. I actually think I want to add my full signature that I have built in. So I'll show you how to do that. To get to that, you actually want to save this so we don't lose anything. And then you'll see this little box pop up that says automatic replies are now currently on. So if anybody emails me, they'll receive this message as it stands right now. So I wanna move quickly through this if I'm doing this at a time when I'm receiving emails. So our signature is in, let's move this again, in this compose and reply section. And I had previously put in a signature, so I'm going to copy this. And there will be another video that I will link. I'm creating it in a couple of weeks that will show you how to create this signature. So I will make sure that the link for that gets put into the description for this video. For now, we're going to copy this. And I used a shortcut for that. And I'm going to go back to my automatic reply. And then I can paste that in there. And it's got the signature that I already had preset. As you can see, this little pop-up message continues to stay here because it wants to make sure that you know for sure that your automatic replies are running. You can close this if you'd like, and we'll do that for now. So we've got the body of our email ready to go. So this last piece here is send replies only to contacts. What that means is if you're using the contacts or people area in your Outlook, and those are the only people that you would want to receive this message, you would check the box. I typically am receiving emails from prospects and people that would not be in my contact list, so I usually leave that unchecked. But if you're inside a company, this may, may make a lot of sense for you. So once we've set all of that up, I'm going to click my save again, and you can see it did not pop up the box telling me that my automatic replies were running because I already closed that. So let's go to our inbox. And I'm actually going to do a little refresh here. And as you could see, once I went in here, it gives me this pop up right here that same one that we saw before that automatic replies are currently turned on. If I didn't refresh my screen, it would assume that I already know because I closed this box already. So that's what happens there. So the next time you get out of your email and then when you come back from vacation or from your meeting or from whatever, it'll have this pop up to you when you first log in. So now what we can do is we can go back and I'm going to turn that off. We'll go back to our view all outlook settings and remember this is called automatic replies and I can just click the button to turn it off. And down here you want to make sure that you click save in order to save that action and then it turns off the automatic replies. And as we said at the beginning, when we turn it on, it'll have that previous one that I worked on. In this case, I don't want to set it again, so I will discard this. Now we'll talk about the different ways that you could use this out of office or automatic replies in Outlook.com. Most of us are familiar with when we're on vacation, we would set this, when we're at a long meeting or maybe a short conference that's a day or two, we would want to set this. But another idea that's outside of the box is what if you're someone who checks emails at specific times each day? And I highly recommend this as a productivity tool. And obviously some jobs, it's not something that you're able to do. But for those who can, it's good to set specific times that you're going to check email. And then you can actually have an automatic reply set that goes to everyone telling them when to expect to hear back from you. And that way, your time becomes your own. You're letting people know when they can expect to hear back. And so you're setting those expectations. And it's not the whole feeling of needing to get back to people immediately when they email you.
if you think you like this idea, I would recommend trying to set those time frames that you're going to check email and stick to that for a couple of weeks. And then if that really works for you, then set that automatic reply up that can go to everyone, letting them know what times of day you check your email. If you find that it doesn't work for you, don't you don't want to be using that email going out if that's not going to be consistent for you. If you choose to use your automatic replies in this way, I would recommend that you copy what you have written, put it in a Word document, and then you can have your actual vacation response when you're truly out of the office, have that in the same Word document, and that way you can transfer back and forth because you can only have one automatic reply at a time. So I would have those together in a Word document, and then when you're going to go out of the office, you can copy that vacation response that you would give, put that in there, and then bring back your regular automatic reply response after that. No matter how you choose to use your automatic replies, be sure to have a plan of what you're going to do, and that way it's real easy when you first turn it on. Have you had a light bulb moment from this training? If so, please put that in the comments below. You can also put questions in there and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. You can also give the video a thumbs up or you could share it with someone who you think could benefit from the information. And don't forget to subscribe by clicking the red button below. Once you do, a bell icon will show up. And if you click on that, you'll receive notifications each week when a new video is posted. Thanks for joining me and I'll see you next time.